It's the best day in the whole wide world. It's OCG with the MCO40, man. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on more excellent content. So, Agnister got their support, and I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little bit of a sucker for this deck. Um, I I saw Link 1, and I'm super excited. So, this new added Agnister Dark Infant. One non-Link monster, or one non at Agnister Link monster. So, one card starters. If this card is Link Summon, you can add an at or Ignister Island from your deck to your hand. Ah, so this is just Marinces and Salaman. Great support. When a Cyburst monster with 2300 original attack activates its effect, quick effect, you can move this card to your main monster zone it points to. Uh, so then you can change this card's attribute to any attribute until the end of this turn. So you get to move this, and then you can change its attribute. Hey, this is actually just support to make the Adagnister Link Monster. Guess what we're not playing? The Adagnister Link Monster. There are some builds out there that are basically making Dark Fluid with like 30 quadrillion counters with this. But you're just... It depends on the build, actually. So, OCG likes to do some weird things. And I mean... Who needs to do that when you can just smash access codes with it? I also think I've seen this deck you link. All right. We also don't have this card, and this card matters. Two plus Cyber's monsters with different attributes. Gains 500 attack for each monster it points to. All right. Quick effect. You can pay 1,000 life points to draw a card. If your life points are 2,000 or less, you can banish this card from the field. And if you do, smash summon one link, three, or lower Cyber's monster from your extra deck. Quick effect. Once per turn, you can draw a card. Huh. I can draw hand traps with this. That's cool. Huh, I can draw trap cards with this too? That's cool. I'll multi king my opponent next turn because of this card? That's cool. This card's really freaking good. Alright. Alright, so extra deck stu or stuff we have up here. We have one. Achi chi 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 chi. Adding Nestor. Triple God, Beast of Ash Blossom, and going second. One bur 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 uh, triple copies of the code generator. One copy of the Cyber's Gadget. One copy of the Dot Scraper. One Doyon at Ignister. One copy of the Effect Veiler. One Ghost Bell. One copy of Addition. This is just going to be an extender, is what you care about. Sigma is also an extender. Then we have triple copy, or excuse me, two Maxi. Two copies of the Micro Coder. And the triple copies of the Picari with the one Skullmeister. I believe this and the Achichichi are all one card full combo, actually. If your normal summon gets stopped, you're walking away. Uh, we have the one idle reborn. Two copies of Called by the Grave. One sign at mining. Only two copies in Mr. Island. The thing I'm seeing a lot of players doing when they're trying to build this deck is they're only... They're trying to play three of this. I don't know why, because you can search it. You literally start off search this after you trigger your, your stuff. All right? Then we have two copies of When I First Met You. So you're really Cyber's Monster with 2,300 attack from or in your hand or extra deck. And if you do, add an adding Mr. Monster with the same attribute from your deck to your hand. Also, for the rest of this turn after this card resolves, you cannot activate uh, monster effects except for Cyber's Monsters. That's fine. All right. That, that's all that we matter. During the end phase, take 2300 damage if you do not smash something the revealed monster. Well, unfortunately, we're taking 2300 damage. Because I don't think we're summoning the Light Dragon. But you're going to have to play this for when I first met you. Uh, we also have one Compulse, two Crackdown, the one Synet Conflict, the two Dynamiscus, the two Judgments, the two Solemn Strikes. Wrapping up the main deck here. Extra deck here we have two Transcode Machines, two copies of Splash Mage, one Lingaribo, one Heat Soul, one copy of Adding Nister, two copies of the Dark Infant, one Code Talker Inverted, one Code Talker, two copies of Access Code, one Luster, and one Wind Pegasus. You can actually search for the, off of this, too. Then we have two copies of Drone Lockbird, two copies of Gadarla, triple copies of Forbidden Droplet, two Lightning Storm, triple D-Barrier, two Evenly Matched, and one copy of the Red Reboot. Wrapping up, that would be our, our Adding Nister package, actually. I think that this deck, like I said, I'm excited to see where this goes. As a control player that can play combo with one card starters, I like it a lot. All right. Oh, boy. Guess what we don't have? Yeah. We don't have these cards. We don't have this card. We don't have this card. So you're probably going to see a 
simpler combo come TCG time because this stupid card is absurd. Why it's a dinosaur and why it's a tuner, I don't know. You can target one monster you control, destroy it. Also, you can normal summon one scrap monster in addition to your main phase this turn. In addition to your normal summoner set, you can only gain this effect once per turn. If this card is destroyed by the effect of a scrap card and sent to the graveyard, you can add a scrap factor or one non-tuner scrap monster from your deck to your hand. On my way to the recycler, so I can full combo you. Ah, it's a dinosaur. I can search for this. It's a dinosaur. It has inherent support with this. It's a dinosaur. It's full orcas combo. I don't get it, man. All right, so we have two copies of the Animador and Archosaur. Triple copies of Ash Blossom and going second. Triple copies of Baby Sarasaurus. One copy of Deskbot 001. One Jet Synchron. One Drek Alio. Two copies of Max C. Two copies of Olion. Triple copies of Misk Alenia Sarasaurus. Two copies of Pterodon. One Scrap Refrigerator. Triple copies of Scrap Raptor. I don't know why you're a dinosaur. One copy of Scrap Recycler, one Ovi Raptor, two copies of the Ultimate Conductor. Then we have two copies of Call by the Grave, triple copies of Crass Out Designator, two double evolution pills, one Foolish Barrel, triple copies of Fossil Dig, two copies of Lost World, two Scrap Yard, hmm, and then one copy of Terraforming. I expect this card's probably going to get a reprint, hmm, I wonder where, OTS pack? OTS pack. Alright, extra deck down here, we have one Scrap Wyvern because full combo. One Saruja, one Auroradon, one Link Karibo, one Unicorn, one Phoenix, one Hauk, one Access Code, one True King of All Calamities, oh no, we can make this, one Dolka, one copy of the Senshin, one copy of the Ravenous, one Herald, one Garden Rose Maiden, and one Coral Dragon. That's cool. Side deck here, we have two Lancia, one Pankratops, one copy of the Dogaron, Two Draw and Lockbird, two copies of Nibir, two Gamma, and one Driver. The OCG really has a weird thing for this. Uh, we have the one Feather Duster, two Lightning Storm, and one copy of Yield Red Rebuto. Wrapping up, why are you a dinosaur? Very, very interesting card. Th this card's probably the best card that we have coming out in Lightning Overdrive. Well, one of the best, because adding Nestor support. <sighs> Alright, last deck we have for everybody today. Oh, it's Drytron! Guess what we get next set? This stupid card. Drytron Mu Beta Fafnia. Two plus level ones. If you attribute a monster for monsters for ritual summon, you can detach the appropriate materials from this card. Alright, if this card succeeds summoned, you can drop your Drytron into the graveyard, which means I can summon it. We don't even care about the rest of what it does. All right. This looks like a very TCG deck list. I'm not going to lie. Uh, they also have access to the Diviner. Oh, well, normal or special. I can drop this. It's a tuner. <laughs> this card is good. Uh, I, I, I'm not losing my mind, I assure you. So we have one copy of Lancia. Triple copies of Ash Blossom and going second. Triple copies of Diviner of the Heralds. Triple copies of Alpha Thuban. One Delta Altaeus, Triple Copies Gamma Altanen, and Triple Copies of the Zeta Albida. We have two copies of Ava, two Ripple Copies of Herald of the Orange Light, two copies of Maxi, and then we have Triple Copies of Ben 10, one Natasha, and one Ultimate Ness. Then we have two Called by the Grave, two copies of Cross Out Designator, Triple Copies of Cyber Emergency, with only one Fafnir, one Nova, one Feather Duster, and two Matanas. I don't agree with those ratios. I think maximizing the starters here is probably the best thing that you can do. But again, this card exists, so eh. Extra deck, we have one Union Carrier, one Relinquished Anima, one copy Link Rebo, one Nightmare Unicorn, one IP, one copy Boral Sword, one copy the Assembled Nightingale, two Move Fafnir, one Sky Thunder. Oh god, you can do all this, and then you can attack with it, and then you can make the Zeus. Oh. We have one Beatrice, two copies of Herald, one Black Rose, and one Ninantis. Uh, side deck here, we have two Lancia, one Bee Buster. Oh, they're getting cheesy here. We have one Drone Lockbird, two Maxi, two Nibiru with two Forbidden Droplet, one Lightning Storm, triple copies of Twin Twister with the one Mischief of the Gnomes, and one copy of Red Reboot. Wrapping up your OCG Thursday experience. 
this card is going to scare me. <laughs> so guys, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about these deck lists. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on in the day for some more cool content. Peace out. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Van Call 40 for all of your card fight Vanguard content brought to you by M Call 40. And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.